Well, um, where's troop, Girl Scouts troop 65040? Great. And what level of Girl Scouts? We're, we're our first years of junior. Great. And will you tell me how you picked this project and a little bit about it? Um, so we, have to, we had to pick a journey, a junior journey. And um, this year we picked Engine of Change. And in order to get this patch, we had to do something to help a need. And we felt that getting clean water in Africa was one of the needs that, we, that needs to be solved. That's... And uh, do you have anything else to add to that? How did you find out about this need? Um, well, some people have seen videos in classes, and uh, there's a lot of videos on the web about how uh, hard it is for Africans. And I see your poster says Global Women's Initiative, Water Initiative. Do you want to tell me a little bit about that? Um, yeah. They actually um, train women about how to filter and clean water with those pictures there. Um, so they can have cleaner water. There are a lot of other um, um, initiatives that help with that. So. Great. So do you want to tell us a little bit about some things you learned while doing this project? Um, so we learned that um, it's only West Africa that really has a problem with the water. Like earlier, we thought that it was all of Africa, but it's just West Africa. Okay, and um, it's a great poster and there's a lot happening. Can you tell us a little bit about the poster? Well, so um, there's like um, these like um, index cards. They um, tell you like um, like how you can help, but then um, there's also like pictures, but then like um something I re I really like ab about the um board is um this I don't know if 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 it's a quote it may be it says um educate a man you train a person educate a woman you train a nation I like it because I don't know why I just do very good Kylie Erin do you have anything else to share um well we um we sort of. We thought that uh, when we watched a couple of the videos that um, some of the girls brought in, we thought that it was more that it was very important and that people should learn about it. And that's that's sort of what we thought, and um, that's why we did our poster and our skit and stuff to raise awareness. Okay, that's it. Um, Stella, what are some ways that you can save water? Some ways to save water are um, like you can take five minutes for a shower and don't leave the water on when you're washing your hands. All right, you sure? Mm -hmm. All right, you know what? I just had another question now on the, um, on the whole thing. How did you decide or did you guys split up the work? Some people work on the poster, some have bigger parts in the, in the skit. Some people yeah. didn't really want. Some people didn't really want to be in the skit that much, so then they planned out our poster, and we had we we obviously made them a part of our skit, so that we didn't feel like left out if all of a sudden they yeah. felt like that. But um, what we also did is we what we also did is that we um, each made our own little little cards about how to help. Um, some are what Africans can do, and some are what us Americans can do. And we each designed our little thing, and it was really cool. And um, right here, so it's only Western Africa, it's not the rest of Africa. And I think this picture is kind of cool because it's like the ripple effect. It's like when you educate a woman that all the things that they'll get to do, like they'll get to have um, go to school and be a, have more time with their family. So um, we chose a lot of pictures because, um, well, we cut out a lot of things because we didn't have too much room, but we tried to put the things that were most meaningful to us on it. Um, we hope that like other people would learn about this and like care about this like we do.